We heard that Lisa Marie Presley finally has a granddaughter when Riley Keough revealed it to the world during her mother's memorial. Not much has been said about them after that, so here's what we know about Riley and Ben Smith Peterson's daughter. When we learned of Lisa Marie's passing, we were all in disbelief. She began the year with a happy start by attending an event at Graceland, Elvis Presley's Memphis house with admirers to commemorate what would have been her father's 88th birthday, following which she joined her mother when Austin Butler received a Golden Globe for his portrayal of the king of rock and roll in Baz Luhrmann's film, Elvis. Lisa Marie passed suddenly when she was just 54 years old. Similar issues to her father's caused her death. She apparently had a heart attack at her home in the Calabasas neighborhood of Los Angeles and was subsequently taken to a local hospital. She passed away a short while later. Equally tragic is the fact that her daughters will grow old without a mother and that her granddaughter will never get to be with her. We didn't even realize she had a grandchild until Ben, her son-in-law, spoke at her funeral. Riley Keough and her husband, Ben Smith Peterson, made their daughter's existence known when Riley was grieving the loss of her mother, Lisa Marie Presley, in January. The two are parents as previously verified by a representative for the Daisy Jones and the Six Singer. Riley Keough also said in an interview that she became a mother in 2022. At Lisa Marie's memorial, Riley's husband speaks in the singer's honor. At the public memorial service for Lisa Marie Presley conducted at Graceland, Riley sat in the front row while her husband Ben spoke on behalf of his wife. He said a couple of things that the general public was unaware of, so it wasn't simply your typical speech. Riley broke down in tears during the funeral service, recalling her mother's enduring love and bravery in a eulogy delivered by Ben. The service was conducted at Elvis Presley's Memphis, Tennessee home. A lot of people wondered why Riley and Ben, or anyone else from the Presley family, didn't dare to announce the birth of Elvis Presley's great-granddaughter. Despite being the happy parents of a young girl, the two celebrities didn't make their pregnancy public until long later. Riley apparently wanted to keep her pregnancy and delivery private because she and her family are so well known in other areas of their lives. Ben is such a great and compassionate support and she truly needs him right now. Both Riley and Ben are open to the prospect of welcoming additional children soon. Even if it is presumed that their daughter's identity would remain a secret from the public, Riley and Ben's supporters had expected that they would at least admit to being pregnant. Despite this, everyone is happy as a result of the great news. It must be difficult to have spent your entire life in the public eye, but Riley has experienced that. Lisa Marie was born to the rock-famous pair, Elvis Presley and Priscilla Presley. Riley Keough was born in 1989 the year of Lisa Marie's first marriage to singer Danny Keough. Riley's famous grandfather, who died in 1977 at the age of 42 and left her mother at the age of nine, was never introduced to Riley. In short, Riley apparently wanted to keep her pregnancy and delivery private because she and her family are so well known in other areas of their lives. Ben Smith Peterson is also a famous stuntman. At the same time, Riley has been part of a handful of movies and is currently making a name for herself in her new series, Daisy Jones and the Six. Riley began her career in the entertainment industry as a model, and for the following 13 years she concentrated on acting. She claimed that in order to land her first role, which she shared with Kristen Stewart in the independent film The Runaways, she had to fight for it. Five years later, she received a notable supporting part in the Oscar-winning blockbuster Mad Max Fury Road. This resulted in other critically acclaimed cameos in other movies like American Honey and The House That Jack Built. Everywhere their daughter would go, she would probably be followed by cameras. It's understandable why they kept her birth a secret. But when did fame, love, and the problems all start? On the Mad Max set in 2012, the two first got to know one another. They started dating formally in 2013, and they got engaged. They were wed in 2015 in two separate ceremonies. 
Riley Keough explained how she knew she and Ben would be together forever in a piece she wrote about their romance, just one week after they started dating. They made a pit stop at this tiny petrol station to grab chips and fill the tank. He was 22 and she was 24, and they were just getting coffee and were carefree at the time. It was so strange because they had only actually been out for a week, but she recalled having the overwhelming impression that he was the father of her children as he left the gas station. Since then, they have been inseparable. Another reason why they kept their daughter's identity a secret was because of Lisa Marie. Lisa Marie Presley never revealed the details of her children's lives to the world like what occurred to her. Lisa was raised on her father's vast Tennessee house where she enjoyed the life of a princess despite coming from a family of rock and roll heroes. But she gradually came to understand that life was not always rosy. Lisa Marie has had many highs and lows, starting at the age of 13 when she picked up undesirable habits and ending with her four failed marriages. Lisa Marie has been in the public eye ever since her birth. She was born on February 1st 1968 at Baptist Memorial Hospital Memphis in Tennessee. She spent her early years in the spotlight at her father's famous house. After her parents got divorced, she spent time with her mother in Los Angeles and occasionally flew to Tennessee to see her father. She was the center of Elvis's universe. Even after her parents got divorced and her mother relocated to Los Angeles, she was still permitted to go visit her father at his enormous Tennessee estate. At the time of the terrible legend's death in 1977, Lisa Marie was only nine years old. We never knew it was that hard to be famous. Riley and Ben might be better off never revealing their daughter to the world. Some haven't seen Riley and Ben's daughter since the Graceland tribute, but some fans claim to have seen them getting off an airplane. Following her trip to Graceland for the memorial service for her mother, Lisa Marie, Riley Keough was first spotted with her daughter. Riley was seen holding the infant girl as the two left a private plane. Still, the child's name and birth date are unknown, of course. Months after that, Riley Keough and Ben Smith Peterson were spotted strolling around their Los Angeles neighborhood with their little daughter and pet dog. With their small daughter in a pram, the parents were casually walking. The actress kept things simple with a pair of animal print leggings and a white knit sweater. Riley has very occasionally been spotted without a costume, including now. With her major role in the rock drama Daisy Jones and the Six, which is executively produced by Reese Witherspoon and is based on the best-selling book Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, she recently gained attention. If you were in Riley and Ben's position, would you reveal your private life to your fans? Comment your answers down below, and don't forget to hit the like button while you're at it. That's all for now. Thank you so much.